You wake up attached to a corpse. You don't remember biting it. You don't remember being born. You just remember drinking. Your first heartbeat isn't yours. It's pulsing through your victim's veins. You feel the blood moving under their skin. Hot, rhythmic, perfect. It doesn't matter what it is. Fish, shark, seal, it's just a vessel. You are Petromyzon Marinus, the sea lamprey, a creature older than bones, designed to feed on life itself. You didn't hatch into light. You hatched into mud, a tiny blind larva wriggling through silt, sucking algae and rot for years. You stay buried so long that the river forgets you exist. The world above you changes, storms, winters, wars, and you keep eating filth waiting for something in you to awaken. Then one morning, it does. Your body liquefies and reforms. Your mouth splits open like a wound that never heals. Your stomach dissolves. Your eyes appear for the first time, pale, unblinking, ancient. You aren't a worm anymore. You are hunger given shape. You crawl out of the mud into a river you can finally see. And for the first time, you smell blood. Your new body is electric. Smooth, muscular, flexible enough to twist like smoke. You feel every vibration, every flutter of fins miles away. The ocean calls, and you answer. You swim downstream until the river widens and the water turns to salt. Everything around you is massive, shadows the size of mountains gliding silently. You don't hesitate. You find the nearest one and attach. The suction is instant, a perfect vacuum that fuses you to its side. Hundreds of teeth pierce through scales, digging deeper with every twist. Your tongue is rough, muscular, alive, grinding, boring, tunneling through flesh until the blood flows. The moment it does, your world turns red. You drink and drink and drink. You feel the fish convulse, its strength fading as yours grows. You can taste adrenaline in the blood. You can feel the heartbeat slowing under you. You don't stop until there isn't one left. Then, you let go. The fish sinks. You drift upward through the crimson trail you made. You've eaten nothing solid. You've taken everything living. Weeks pass. You latch on to another, and another, and another. Each host weaker than the last. Everyone leaves behind a perfect, circular scar, your signature burned into their skin. You are a parasite that never stops eating, a machine that survives by erasing everything it touches. But you're not alone. Thousands of you move through the water together, a swarm of open mouths searching for new blood. You devastate oceans quietly. Fish vanish without struggle, their bodies sinking with coin-sized holes in their sides. No one notices you at first, then the humans do. They built canals to connect their rivers to their lakes. They thought they were engineering progress. They didn't know they were building doors. You slide through those doors, from the Atlantic into the Great Lakes, from salt water into fresh, from predator to plague, trout, whitefish, sturgeon, species that survived for millennia, collapse in decades. In Lake Superior, 95% of the trout are gone. The fishermen say the water looks bruised. The scientists say the lake is dying. You don't say anything. You just keep feeding. Humans respond the only way they know how, with chemicals and war. They create poisons that kill everything with your DNA. They block rivers with electric barriers. They hire entire divisions just to study how to stop you. The compound they make, TFM, kills your larvae by the millions. It works but only for a while. Because you've survived 340 million years, you've seen oceans freeze and boil. You've outlived dinosaurs, asteroids, and five mass extinctions. You are a wound carved into time itself. You don't adapt fast. You don't need to. Everything else dies first. Your mouth never closes. Even when you rest, it gapes open, a circle of teeth still slick with old blood. You can live months between feedings, drifting like a nightmare, waiting for noise. You are boneless cartilage, 
powered by instinct, older than thought. Your brain has no mercy center, no empathy, just direction toward the next pulse. In the deep sea, you feed on giants. In lakes, you feed on everything else. When the fish disappear, you turn on each other. Lampreys eating lampreys, mouths locked in endless loops. Nature doesn't care. It just calls it equilibrium. But equilibrium never lasts. Something inside you begins to collapse. You stop feeding. Your body starts to rot while you're still moving. You swim upriver anyway, a decaying predator crawling back to where it began. Your skin peels off in ribbons. Your mouth softens. Your muscles dissolve into slime. But the current keeps pushing you forward. You scrape over rocks, through rapids, through the same channels your victims once used to flee you. You reach gravel shallows under a cold moon. You dig a hollow pit with your dying mouth. Another lamprey drifts beside you, equally ruined. Neither of you eat anymore. Neither of you breathe right. You twist together, release clouds of eggs and sperm into the current. You watch them drift away, thousands of tiny shadows sinking toward the mud. You don't feel relief. You just stop moving. The current buries you. Your eyes turn milky. Your body softens, then melts. By the time your eggs hatch, you're already part of the riverbed again. The cycle restarts before you finish decomposing. Your children hatch, blind. They dig into the same mud that ate you. They won't see light for seven years. They'll never know you existed. They'll never know anything but hunger. Some of them will drift downstream and become ocean parasites. Some will never make it. Some will invade new lakes through new pipes. And some will die before they ever see their first heartbeat. It doesn't matter. The system doesn't need individuals. It only needs the pattern. The pattern is ancient. Burrow, awaken, feed, destroy, die. It doesn't reward intelligence. It rewards persistence. You are persistence made flesh. The blueprint of survival before morality existed. Your lineage began when vertebrates were still experiments. You've lasted longer than any empire, any religion, any species that thought it ruled the sea. You are proof that evolution doesn't create perfection. It creates endurance. You were finished long before the rest of life even started. And now you exist in a world too slow to stop you, too proud to admit it can't. Some scientists call you living fossils. Others call you biological mistakes that never died. But you're neither. You're the reminder that nature never erases old code. It just buries it deeper. When people look into your mouth under glass, they call you horrifying. But you've never done anything cruel. You just do what you were programmed to do. The cruelty is ours. For opening doors we never meant to. For calling you invasive when you only followed the current we built. You're not evil. You're inevitable. The ocean keeps moving. The rivers keep flowing. The cycle keeps running. And somewhere in the dark, a new lamprey wakes up attached to a heartbeat that isn't its own. The blood starts to flow again. The circle keeps turning. The world forgets. You never do. Thank you for watching. If this made your skin crawl, hit subscribe, leave a like, and stay tuned for more stories about the creatures that prove survival itself can be terrifying.